In the depths of our hearts lies a deep desire for connection, a longing to belong to something greater than ourselves. This yearning is a reflection of how we were created, designed for unity, fellowship, and love. Today we are going to explore a truth that can transform the way we live in the body of Christ, the blessing of being united as one in Jesus Christ. Together we will look into Ephesians 4, 4, where Paul speaks about the power and purpose of unity in the church. The verse says, There is one body and one spirit, just as you are called to the one hope that belongs to your call. This is a profound declaration of how we, as believers, are called into oneness, guided by the Spirit, and united in hope. Point 1. One body, a unified church. My dear friends, Paul begins by reminding us that there is one body. This is a picture of the church, not as a building or institution, but as the living, breathing body of Christ. Every believer is a part of this body. We may have different backgrounds, experiences, and gifts, but we are all interconnected as one under Jesus. Think of how a human body works. It has many parts, each with a unique function, yet it operates as a single unit. In the same way, we, the Church, are diverse yet called to function in unity, with Jesus as our head. We are called to work together, to build each other up, and to reflect God's love to the world. Point 2. One Spirit, the Power of the Holy Spirit. Next, Paul tells us that there is one Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that unites us, empowers us, and guides us. The Spirit moves within us, making us one in Christ. It is the Spirit that gives us strength in times of weakness, wisdom when we are uncertain, and comfort when we are hurting. When we rely on the Holy Spirit, we tap into a power far beyond our own. Just as a tree draws life from its roots, we draw life and strength from the Spirit of God. Let us remember that it is the Holy Spirit that enables us to live in unity, loving one another as Christ has loved us. Point 3. One hope, our shared destiny in Christ Paul, also reminds us that we were called to one hope. This hope is not based on fleeting things, but on the eternal promises of God. It is the hope of salvation, the hope of eternity with Jesus, and the hope of a transformed life. In our world, hope can sometimes seem distant. We face challenges, trial, and uncertainties, but as believers we have a living hope that anchors us. This shared hope in Christ binds us together as one family, one church, one body. It reminds us that no matter what we go through, our future is secure in Him. Closing Reflection As we reflect on this verse from Ephesians, let us embrace the beauty of our unity in Christ. We are one body, empowered by one spirit, and anchored in one hope. This unity is not just a nice idea. It is our calling, our purpose, and our blessing. So, my friends, let us walk in this unity. Let us love one another deeply, serve one another with joy, and stand firm in our shared hope. As we do, the world will see the power of God's love in us. Let's close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for calling us into one body, united in your spirit, and anchored in the hope of Christ. Help us to walk in unity, to love as you have loved us, and to reflect your glory in all that we do. May your Spirit guide us and strengthen us as we fulfill our calling. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.